Junior Achievement of West Kentucky is privileged to honor Jack Wells, a 2021 laureate of the Owensboro Business Hall of Fame. The Owensboro Business Hall of Fame, the best in business, inspiring the next in business. Jackie Truman Wells was born on June 9, 1955 in Owensboro, Kentucky to George and Grace Wells. He entered this world after his older brother, Jim, and quickly exhibited his energy through boyish mischievousness, which included a love for cars and motorcycles and a love for the music of the Beatles and every James Bond movie. That energy followed Wells, Jack Wells, throughout his long and winding road of life as he pursued dreams most could never imagine. As a 15-year-old, he channeled his energy into a job ironing sheets at a local nursing home making just over $1 per hour. Within six short years, his energy led him to purchase his first nursing home at the age of 21. At the Rosedale Personal Care Facility, Jack treated every resident with respect and dignity, as well as his coworkers, no matter their position. As he moved through his 30s, Jack began to acquire more nursing homes, many in different parts of the Commonwealth of Kentucky. In 1982, Jack and Jean Wells created Wells Health Systems, which is still in operation today. He also began to expand his entrepreneurial enthusiasm by growing into the areas of pharmacies and home health services, which brought on new partners and risk. But this was at the heart of who Jack was, a risk taker. As Jack moved into his 50s, instead of remaining in the successful space he had crafted, he felt it was time to take another risk and explore something new. By the time Wells Health System had been sold in 2006, it had become the Commonwealth's largest group of independent nursing home facilities. At the age of 51, after evaluating the next chapter of his life, Jack set out in a completely new space, the vending and food services sector, by purchasing Canteen at your service. Jack and his partners would go on to forge a path that would create one of the largest vending and food service businesses in the United States, with more than 15 acquisitions, including John Conti Coffee, and comprising more than 800 employees. While still in his 50s, Jack redefined himself yet again with a foray into banking investment, as well as real estate development. He aligned with Independence Bank, where he served on the board of directors, to create one of the largest community banks in the Commonwealth and his real estate investments included projects in Owensboro, Indianapolis, Paducah, Bowling Green, Florida, and the Dominican Republic. But he was most proud of his investment in the redevelopment of downtown Owensboro, where he reached his pinnacle with a personal residence at the Enclave, which sits at the edge of the mighty Ohio River that he loved so very much. While seamlessly managing these many business entities, Jack invested his time, talent, and treasure in giving back to Owensboro with great love and enthusiasm. The many nonprofit boards he served on included the Boys and Girls Club, the Owensboro Davis County Chamber of Commerce, where he was board chair, Kentucky Wesleyan College, from where he received his degree and later served as chairman of the Board of Trustees, Girls Incorporated, and Owensboro Museum of Fine Art, among many others. He generously supported with his treasure the local schools, including a new playground at Faust Elementary, the Bluegrass Hall of Fame and Museum, and Romp Music Fest, along with a host of others across the community. His love and enthusiasm for Owensboro and his affinity for those with less were exemplified in his selfless gifts of treasure. Through it all, Jack was recognized for his accomplishments, including KWC Alumnus of the Year, Chamber of Commerce Entrepreneur of the Year, and the Ira O. Wallace Award, which is the highest honor given annually to an individual in the long-term care profession in Kentucky. But in the end, he sought no acclaim. He simply wanted to use his good fortune in life to lend a hand up. Jack was a faithful annual supporter of Junior Achievement, and believed in JA's purpose to inspire and prepare young people to succeed in a global economy. Jack took his boyish energy and propelled it over the decades, creating an immeasurable impact on those he touched. 
as we come together to celebrate the long and winding road that took Jack from humble beginnings to the pinnacle of success, we are reminded all we need is love. Jack Wells, the best in business, inspiring the next in business.